Well, as uh, you all now know, the key to getting on top of beating this virus is to reduce contact with each other, to stay at home, and to stop the spread of the virus. And as the first chart this afternoon shows that uh, we are continuing to see people adhering to those instructions. Uh, transport use, in particular public transport use, uh, remains extremely low. And it's absolutely critical, as you've just heard, that everybody follows those instructions. So the sun might be out, but that doesn't mean you should be out. We all need to make sure that we resist the temptation, whatever the weather, uh, to uh, disregard the instructions that are so clear. Uh, we need to stop social uh, contact, reduce social contact, stop transmission and reduce spread of the virus. And by doing that, we will start to protect the NHS and to save lives. And as the next chart shows, the new uh, cases in the UK have continued to rise, but in the last few days, they have stabilized. Now, it's really important, as I've said before, not to read too much into a day or a few days data. But if we do reduce social contact, we know from the scientific evidence, we know from the experience of other countries, that we will see a reduction in infection rates. A reduction in infection rates, as the next chart shows, means a reduction in hospitalization rates. For the vast majority of people, this is a mild, moderate uh, illness, a bit like a cold or, or flu, but for a small number of people, it does mean uh, that the symptoms are severe enough uh, to require hospitalization. Uh, it will be uh, a week or two before the measures that are put in place translate into lower hospitalization rates, but as you can see, uh, in London, in the last few days, there has been a bit of a plateauing in terms of numbers. Now, in other parts of the country, as you've just heard, hospitalizations are still going up. So this is not the time to be complacent uh, and to take our foot off the pedal. We need to continue to comply with those instructions because that will translate uh, in the next week or two into a reduction in hospital admissions. And of course, finally, as the next chart shows, uh, unfortunately, and with great sadness, the number of deaths continues to be high. And as I and others have said, uh, unfortunately, that is likely to continue uh, over the next week or two until we get on top and stop this virus. Uh, and by doing that, we will see a reduction in the number of deaths. Thank you very much, Steve. Um, I will now turn to our colleagues in the media for some questions. Um, and first of all, Ria Chatterjee from ITV. Ria.